Hello, we're here again with another review. This time we're looking at Dale Hay Touring Park, which is in Ribchester. Uh, the site is situated just outside of Ribchester, about a mile out north of the town, in some fantastic countryside, some really good walks around the park. Uh, I'm just going to go through the route that we do. We uh, have come from the south on the B6245. Um, as you approach into the town centre, there is a pub on the right-hand side called the Ribchester Arms, which does a really good meal. Um, we've been there a couple of times and it is quite nice. So we're just starting going in through the town centre. There are quite a few parked vehicles on this road. It is wide enough to get two vehicles past. Uh, but again, you just need to take your time. Um, at the end of this road, you come to a uh, stop sign where we're going to be turning right. I was quite lucky because I hadn't been here before and the caravan in front of me was going to the same place so that, that did make it a little bit easier. As you pass around this bend there is another pub on the left hand side. Um, I think it's called the Black Bull. That's quite uh, supposed to be quite a good pub. I didn't actually go in there. So you approach this stop sign. Um, it's a little bit of a, a tight turn. Uh, especially if somebody's turning in, coming from the opposite direction, uh, and there is a road to the left, so it's uh, it is a little bit tricky, but nothing too worrying. Uh, straight ahead, you can see there are signs uh, for the Ribchester Museum, uh, which is the Roman Museum, which we paid a visit to when we were there, which is a, a really good look round. There's lots of little activities for children to do, um, colouring in and such. So, so it, it is really good. Uh, Good place to visit, and the town itself is really nice to walk around. There's some small shops, craft shops, and that, but it is a it is a really lovely town centre. So as we've left the town centre area, we travel up this road uh, roughly for a mile. Uh, we're stopping now, and the only reason why we're stopping is just because there's lots of parked vehicles again on this road. As you drive a little bit further up this road, on the left hand side, there is a caravan uh, club site. It's just a field basically. So a little bit further up, we're about a mile out now, we've got the site coming up on the right hand side. So you just turn into it, the gate's a little bit further down, so obviously here uh, I'm not making the school by area, I'm following the vehicle in front, I'm just going to wait until the road's clear and then I'm going to move in. As you approach in, the reception is actually on the right hand side behind the car there. Uh, you just go in there, knock on the door and then either John or Catherine will come out and give you a key and show you which pitch you're going to. There is a barrier just in front of you where you have a uh, an entry pass to get in. Uh, it's like a key fob so it's a secure site. It is privately owned by John and Catherine. I think they've owned it since about 2014. There is a large barn that you can see in front of you there, which you can use on your stay. They use that a lot for rallies. When we were there for the weekend, they had a charity event on there, which was a Macmillan event raising money for cancer research. They had raffles, prizes. It was really good for the children uh, to go in there and have a look around and meet new people and other children. And I know John and Catherine also use that for holding lots of uh, events for children's charities which they do a lot of work for. Just to the left of the uh, barn are the toilet facilities, uh, male, disabled and female toilets. The toilets are really clean, really warm, uh, well looked after. There are two showers and uh, two toilets in each toilet block, plenty of sinks. So we're just going to go and drive around the touring park at the moment. So that's the barn on the left. And as we drive down here, just to the left, there are two pictures on the left-hand side, which uh, I believe are for disabled visitors. We're just entering where the main pictures are. Uh, we're just going to go and look at the right-hand side here. There are about six pictures on the right. All these are nice and level. Um, they're slightly near the road, but there's, it's not an overly busy road, so there's not much road noise. 
There are, all the pitches are 10 amp. Um, the water and waste are quite nearby each pitch, so it's not too bad. And we're going to go round to the left. On the left hand side is where the Elsem point is. I'm going to just drop down to the bottom end of the, uh, the touring park. As we go down, you can see the hedge on the right hand side. Uh, there are some lovely walks through. If you just follow that hedge, you can go down into the, the woods there and some really nice walks. There are approximately 40 hard standing pitches. Uh, majority of them are level, but some are a little bit uneven. The price for the pitches is quite reasonable, I think. It's £18 per unit. That includes your electric cook up, access to the facilities, two adults and two children. But you pay an additional £2 for each child after that. Uh, and it's uh, a 12 o'clock leave, so which is quite reasonable. So we're just going round the pitches. You can see the toilet block, which is straight facing you there, which is quite handy, not too far to walk. So we're crossing down now to the far end of the site uh, where we were pitched is just where you can see the vans on the right hand side where the one with the awning. Uh, they've got a really good view over to the left hand side over to the hills and into the forest. There's some pitches just on the right hand side and uh, they're a little bit uneven but every point, uh, there are electric points that are next to every pitch. They also have a rally field which we're just going to drive down to. You can see uh, just coming up. And beyond that, you can see a few caravans there. They also do caravan storage, which is quite handy. I know some of the people there store the caravan and then move it onto a pitch when they want to come up during the weekend. And this is a rally pitch you can see just in front of you. Overall, it's for us, it's a site that's not too far from home. It's a really nice, clean site. The prices are really good, and it's somewhere we'll definitely be coming back to visit again. If you visit their website, uh, which I'll put a link to down below, there are lots of things to do in the local area. There's a really good bus service to take you into the, the turn centre. Also listed on the website, they have lots of good offers if you want to stay there midweek and the, uh, other weekends. So, yeah, have a look at it. It's really worth a visit. And uh, thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Bye-bye.